Parisian day trips exploring nearby towns and villages. So, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Paris, the city of light, beckons millions of visitors each year with its iconic landmarks, world-class museums, and romantic ambiance. However, beyond the bustling streets of Paris lies a picturesque countryside dotted with charming towns and villages, each offering its own unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. For those seeking a break from the urban hustle, day trips from Paris to these nearby destinations provide an opportunity to immerse oneself in the idyllic French countryside. From medieval fortresses to quaint vineyard-covered hillsides, here are some enchanting Parisian day trips to explore nearby towns and villages. Saint Denis. Just to the north of Paris is the suburb of Saint Denis. Whilst it is home to the famous Stade de France it also had an older, and in my opinion, much more impressive place to visit during your trip to Paris. A short walk from the metro station takes you to the impressive Basilica of Saint Denis. This grand cathedral has a close association to French history as it was here. That the French kings were once coronated and later buried. I would definitely recommend a visit to the Basilica, along with the Royal Necropolis. Boulogne Billancourt. Another of Paris's suburbs worth visiting is Boulogne Billancourt, best known for its impressive 865 hectare park, the Bois de Boulogne. You could easily spend half a day enjoying the vast parkland, which was once royal hunting grounds. The landscaped parkland features artificial grottos, waterfalls, and a large lake, as well as the beautifully jardined de Bagatelle filled with roses, water lilies, and daffodils in the spring. There is even an amusement park for children, Jardin de Climatation, offering its visitor a ride on the miniature train and a trip to the small farm. After a morning in the fresh air, head to one or all of its three museums. Vitry sur Seine. If you're looking for something a bit different, head out to Vitry sur Seine. This part of Paris used to be famed for its riots and social unrest, but nowadays makes for a fun day out for art lovers away from the hustle and bustle of the center ville. Vitry sur Seine has a cool street art collective, C.215, as well as huge pieces of art such as the Chaufferie avec Chimenee at the Carrefour de la Libération. Vincennes. At the end of Metro Line 1, Vincennes is home to the picture-perfect Chateau de Vincennes. The impressive chateau is a former fortress and was the second favorite royal residence of the French kings in the 14th to 16th centuries. The chateau is best known for its keep, containing Europe's tallest medieval dungeon and the flamboyant Gothic chapel. In Vincennes, you'll also find the Bois de Vincennes which is home to Paris Zoological Park. Domaine de Chantilly. If you want to escape the city, why not hop on the train and head out the Chantilly? The journey takes less than 30 minutes and will take you the home of Henri d'Orléans, who during his life amassed an impressive collection of books, paintings and decorative objects. The chateau and its grounds are well worth a visit and to end your trip, make sure enjoy a Chantilly cream-based dessert. Parc de Sco. A short trip on the train delivers you to the gorgeous Parc de Sco. This relatively undiscovered gem is a perfect escape from the city and is home to the prettiest chateau and formal gardens. The gardens were actually designed by the same man who landscaped the gardens of Versailles. If you plan to visit the chateau be aware that it is open only in the afternoons. Disneyland Paris. Of course, Disneyland has to feature on my list. An ideal fun day out for all ages. Disneyland Paris can be easily reached from the city center. The theme park has plenty of rides to keep you occupied and ends each day with a wonderful firework display. Palace of Versailles. It is indisputable that Versailles is one of the most impressive royal palaces Europe and this is a must for a trip to Paris. It's hard to believe that this lavish palace started as a hunting lodge. But the hard work of over 30,000 craftsmen and laborers transformed it into the King Louis XIV dreamed of. You can easily spend a day at Versailles. The palace itself is huge, and you will need to book yourself a time slot to visit, and the grounds are even bigger. Make sure you also visit Marie Antoinette's fairy tale village hidden away in the grounds. It's like something out of a Disney film. 
Fontainebleau. If you've already visited Versailles, the medieval palace of Fontainebleau needs to be on your Paris visit list. This palace was home to a number of notable Frenchmen and was known as the Second Rome, due to the fact that a number of suites were decorated especially for an Italian pope. The forest of Fontainebleau is also nice to explore and offers some beautiful views. Saint Germain en Laye. Saint Germain en Laye is a fabulous place to escape the city to. It is known for being the birthplace of the composer Debussy, as well as for its royal palace. Vast woodlands and great views across Paris a good half day, or even longer, will allow you to visit the palace, which now houses the National Archaeology Museum for France. Explore the Place des Marchés at the heart of the town, and enjoy a wander through the park to enjoy the views across to La Defense. Another gem is close by and if you have enough time hop on bus number 10, just a few stops down to visit the Chateau de Monte Cristo, the home and park of Alexander Dumas. You can spend a good hour here strolling through the grounds and peeking into the famous writer's world inside the chateau. Trains, RERA, depart regularly from Chatelet Les Halles. When you get to Saint Germain en Laye, take bus number 10 towards Les Lamps and get off the bus at Avenue Kennedy. Take the first right, Chemin de Montferrand, and follow the footpath to the chateau. Champagne region. Once you've seen the sights of Paris, consider a short journey into the Champagne region. There are plenty of vineyards and champagne houses to visit, as well as lots of champagne to be sampled. You could check out the Moet and Chandon cellars in Epernay or visit Reims, where several French kings were once crowned. Reims also has a beautiful cathedral to see, impressive architecture, especially the Palais de Tau, and don't forget to pick up some pink biscuits from Maison Fossier. Chartres. One of my favorite days out from Paris is to the historical town Chartres. The 12th century cathedral is especially impressive and has amazing, well-preserved stained glass windows. The town is filled with more examples of Gothic architecture, but it also has beautiful, cobbled streets to explore as well as some great eateries. If your visit stretches into the evening, you may be able to catch one of the light shows that takes place between July and January. Giverny. Any art lovers should definitely take a trip out to Giverny, once the home of Claude Monet and where he created some of his most famous masterpieces. You can visit Monet's home and garden, which you may recognize from his paintings, and also visit the nearby Musée des Impressionismes. The town itself is also lovely to visit. There are lots of nice walks, pretty buildings to see and restaurants offering good food. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe our channel for more content. Hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.